welcome to Bitcoin Privacy with me, Nosy Mouse. In this video, we will be looking at largest output amount heuristic. Before I go ahead and board you with a lengthy explanation, let's take a look at a live transaction using Block Cipher's Block Explorer to see if we could accurately follow the sender in this flow of transaction. In front of us is a simple spent transaction of one input and two output. The first input, or input zero, has a value of roughly 15k Bitcoin. And for output zero, the payment output, the value is just slightly over 0 0.0009 Bitcoin, or 90k Satoshi. Output one, the change output, has the same amount as the input minus payment amount and the transaction fee. Let's click on spent on output one and see where this output would lead us to. We have arrived at another simple spend transaction. Once again, there were no address reuse, very much just like the previous transaction. It seems like we're on track. Let's keep following output one to the next transaction. Here we have another simple spend transaction. But this time, output zero has the value of 15k and output one has 0 0.11. Does that mean this person has paid someone 15k Bitcoin and gave 0 0.11 Bitcoin as change back to himself? Unlikely. It is more likely that the wallet software this person is using has randomized the index of the payment and the change output position. So rather than following an output at a fixed position, instead, if we follow the largest output in the case of this transaction, which is output zero, this should lead us to the correct path on tracking our subject. This transaction here is just like all our previous ones. If we follow output zero, because it has the largest amount, and if we keep repeating this process, eventually we will get to another transaction where the change output is back to index one and then index zero and back to index one again, etc., etc., etc. Let's change the gear a little bit and we will move over to oxt.me. Enter the TX ID of the transaction we were looking at earlier and then click search. At first, you will be given a summary of the transaction, but if we go to the very left of the page, go over to the icon with the dotted line, it should say display transaction graph visualizer. And if you click on that, you should have a single blue dot in the center of the page. This dot here represents the transaction we were just looking at. And if we hover over it, we will get some basic information about this transaction. If you click on the dot once, it will turn from blue to green and more icons should have appeared on the tools panel on the very left hand side of the page. Let's click on the eyeball icon to get more details about this transaction. Next, if we double click on the green dot, the selected transaction, you will see more dots of different sizes and lines with different widths stemming out from the selected transaction. You could drag the transactions around on screen to however you like, but I'm going to reorientate it in a form we are more used to seeing. Lines with arrow pointing towards a transaction are input, and lines with arrow pointing away from a transaction are output. The thickness of the line indicates the relative value of the input and output. By using OXT Transaction Graph Visualizer, we could follow our subject a lot easier. By applying the largest output amount heuristic, we just need to follow the thickest line. Double click on the transaction that the change output went to, and we should see the familiar one input to output transaction. 
notice that the output 0 has unspent status. UTXOs are denoted with an empty diamond shape like this one here. Since output 0, the payment output is unspent, let's follow the change output and double click on the new transaction to continue on following our subject's transaction flow. This time, the change output is at index 0. Rather than double clicking on the new transaction, we could click on the dotted line next to the output address in the transaction details. You will need to hover over it for it to become visible. Clicking on this will only expand the outputs that we are interested in, rather than having transaction we don't need cluttering up the page. This is another form of a peel chain that uses largest output amount heuristic to track the sender's activity. This is the end of the video. I hope you have learned something. I'll see you in the next one.